Good evening, everyone. End of another Lord's Day, and I pray that you will have had a good day, a day of blessing, a day when you have been conscious of the presence of the living God. We thank God, don't we, that he has said he's with us, that Jesus has promised, I will never leave you nor forsake you, so that we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I won't fear what man can do unto me. You may recall that this morning we thought about the parable of the sower and Jesus' explanation to the disciples of the parable. I've been looking on in that same chapter in Mark's Gospel, and there we're told in the 21st, the 31st verse, sorry, of the gospel according to saint mark we're told there in chapter four and the same day when the evening was come he said let's go over the sea to the other side and so it was that they set sail uh, towards the other side the multitude that had listened and followed jesus all day uh, was left behind they were sent away and they took Jesus as he was in the ship and there was with him also some other little ships a little convoy of ships crossing the sea but as they were crossing we're told in verse 37 there arose a great storm of wind and the wind whipped up the water to such an extent <clears throat> that the waves beat into the ship, not just against it, but into it, so that it was now full. What an awful predicament they were in. You know, water, however rough it is, outside the ship is bad enough, but when it's in the ship, then you're in deep trouble indeed. This great storm of wind, and Jesus was asleep. He'd had a busy day. All his days were busy. All his days were taken up in ministry and in doing good. He went about doing good, healing the sick and so on. And he was in the stern of the ship and he was asleep on a pillow. But they woke him up and this was what they said, Master, don't you care? that we're perishing. Don't you care that we're going to drown? And uh, he stood up and he spoke to the wind and the waves. This is the all-powerful, the almighty, the sovereign ruler of the skies. He stood up and he said to the wind and to the waves, peace, be still. And there was a great calm. The hymn writer could say, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, he has taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. He rebuked the wind, the waves stopped, there was a great calm. You know, naturally when a storm finishes or it begins to abate it takes a long time for the waters to subside but there was a great calm and he said unto them why were you so afraid why is it that you have no faith and they were speechless they didn't know what to say but they said to one another what manner of man is this that even the sea, the wind and the sea, obey him. What a wonderful saviour. Is Jesus our saviour? And he is able to still the storms in your life and in my life and in the lives of all those who come to him, who call out to him. And so today, in this evening hour, I want to encourage you to call unto Jesus you know, we're told in the Bible that this life is like a race and we're all runners in it.
as a start, as a finish. And so we're told to run this race looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so at this evening hour, I pray that you and I and the Lord's people worldwide will know that joy which comes through his presence, that we might know that peace which passes all understanding. For Jesus has said, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. The world at best can only give for time, but Jesus gives for time and for eternity. Well, good night and the Lord bless you indeed. Amen.